The dew, full of love and kindness, treads carefully around every living being, be it a tender flower or a seductive maid, Alice, where it's not for the devotion Alice shows him and the fondness that grows ever stronger between them. The Duke would barely pay heed to his mother's demand to either lift the dreadful curse placed upon him or lose his family inheritance. Although the Duke has no greed for riches, he yearns to get rid of his frightful power, which causes all his he touches to die for the sake of those closest to him. As for the Duke, Alice and their friends enjoy spirit day fields with ridiculous affairs of supernatural. The spring deadline looms heavily over them. None, nonetheless, the Duke refuses to take any shortcuts in this endeavor. It means betraying the trust of his cherished friends. This anime has about 12 episodes, premiered July 9th to September 24th, 2023. Based off a web monic series, it is comedy supernatural. The theme is romantic love touch. Each episode is 20 minutes. It does have a third season and it's rated PG-13. Let's get started into the review. We are back with another anime review. Here we have the lovely Duke of Death and his maid, Alice. And I am grateful to see this back again because, honestly, I was surprised, like, when I was watching the second season that I read up to catch up to do some information on it and do some research that it was announced for a third season. So I am very happy. And I actually enjoyed this anime a lot. It just took a different approach to, like, a romance anime where, like, like King Minus is touch of gold. Like, this is the touch of death, literally. And he cannot touch anything. Literally cannot touch anything. And his lovely maid is not helping this. Because she is always flirting with him. And I just feel like overall. Like this anime is going to be a good one. Like safe to say. Like I am ready to see what season 3 has to bring. Because like finishing season 2. I would just left with more questions than answers honestly. And just adding more questions. Adding more characters. So the lovely cast is already lovely enough. And then trying to find a way to cure uh, his 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 curse basically because you feel sorry for Bochan like honestly like I feel sorry for the dude like I feel sorry that he is dealt the hand that he's been dealt with honestly and like having this cast of characters just try to help him any way they can I feel like from first season second season we just see the highlight of how their relationship has grown from the first season to second season be a romantic development and I feel like overall if you enjoy watching the first season then the story has progressively gotten better. And the character relationship have taken more of a deeper level, finally taken more of a form, more of a shape. I feel like for the first season, we were, we were just barely scratching the surface between Alice and Botron. And then now we're just, for season two, we're like scratching the surface between Alice and Botron and other side characters and their relationship. But I feel like the quest is still the same, like still trying to find Botron this core, you know, seems to be like, the, like not, not like the faintest thing in the back of his mind, but it seems to be not on the forefront. But then you're dealing with more characters' personalities and backstories and learning more deeper about their connections and the people around them and their lives, which I think is like really cool and really amazing that, we're, you know, we're just diving more deeper and deeper to the background of Botron and Alice, which I thoroughly like a lot. And I've kind of seen like how they've progressed over the year with all the characters, his siblings and other people that he's interacted with over the years and slowly trying to find some way to interact with Alice without truly like ever like truly touching her because he knows like his death his touch will truly kill her now I can't wait to see how season three progresses that even further but I think can just have them build their lives with their friends and their family and then just the the notion of the supernatural other things that just keeps happening around them just kind of never makes their day very boring which I love a lot I thoroughly love this season from the second season. I mean, I love this season from the first season, but I think overall, like, how far is he willing to go to take this curse that's been afflicting him for so many years? And he has a deadline that his mother has definitely given, was like, get rid of this curse or lose your head. And I think overall, I think hopefully by the time we see how season two wraps up and how season three, like, progresses to see what final choice he's willing to make to see if he can truly get rid of this curse like once a fall has been truly afflicted him but definitely check out the do the death and his maid and let me know what you think down in the comments below i give this like an 8.9 out of 10 i can't wait to see how season three will progress and i can't wait to see if botron and alice finally come together and be a couple that they so long for but definitely check it out if you have an array let me know what you think until then bye